Good afternoon. Welcome to the Stress-Free College Student Webinar. I'm Swami G, otherwise known as the Hip Guru. And today I'm going to talk to you about and share with you some ways to reduce stress in college. And you can use this, of course, on your way to college before you go to college as well. And before I share with you these ideas, I'd like to make sure that I'm talking with you, making sure I'm reaching you, getting, answering your questions. So if you'd like to, in the chat room night, right now, in the chat section, just tell me, why are you here today? What, what's in this for you? In other words, what's your priority about going to college? What are the biggest questions you have? What are the biggest stresses you have? Of course, on, on, on globally speaking, everybody wants to be happy and healthy and successful in college. And everybody wants to graduate college and succeed as they go on from college. And that's what I'm going to be covering today. And on top of that, I'd like to make sure that I cover any specific questions you might have, any personal stories you have. Now, you might ask the question, why even talk about stress? The thing is, the research is showing us that actually, you see on the screen now, it says 50% of college students are depressed. And since I've put together this slideshow, I just found a newer statistic. 80% of college students report depression or anxiety or some combination of those emotional issues. 80% of college students. And 50% of college students drop out of college. Now this is this is a, a tragedy and it's a climate, it's a culture that doesn't have to be like that. That's the good news. The good news is that stress is preventable, stress is reversible. So by learning a few tips on stress management, you can start to reduce your stresses. Maybe you have some stresses even now getting ready for college. Is anybody getting stressed, getting ready for college? One or two people? Okay, we're starting to get some answers, some questions in the chat room, and I will will address those as well. So even before you get to college, you can start to use, I'm going to share with you a stress reduction tool technique and you're going to feel the stress reduction today and you could start to use that so that by the time you get to college you will it'll be easier it'll be a tool what happens is when we start something new it's a little bit difficult to work with right like you go to the gym for the first time next you could wake up the next morning charlie horse but after a few days of exercising you start to feel better and then it doesn't bother you anymore so starting to do stress management protocols initially you may forget and go through a stressful encounter but little by little day by day after a few days you'll start to say oh i'm feeling stressed let me do this stress management session so from today you're going to have something i like to give you something that you can actually take home with you and work with so today you're going to experience some stress management and take it home and start to make your even your steps leading to college more comfortable and for parents the stresses the concerns you have for your parent for your children you can use this too you could use these techniques as well this is who you want to be you want to be yeah i aced that test yeah college life is great we don't want to be like this oh my goodness the workload is piling up Oh my goodness. And it doesn't have to be this way. And on top of that, parents, and now the research is showing parents and children together are taking out student loans. You know, you take all this loan out, you start college, and for the 50% that drop out, that's a lot of money out the window. 
So we want to avoid the emotional and the financial issues about going to college, the stresses. So let's stay focused on the solution. The solution is happy, healthy, successful college life on every level. So the first question before I get into this is you probably would like to know why should we be listening to you? Who are you? So I've spoken, I'm an author and a speaker. I've spoken at the White House Commission on Complementary and Alternative Medicine Policy. I've written a number one bestseller on Amazon. You see the picture right there, the Ayurveda Encyclopedia. And I've been in this field for four decades. This is at least three decades before it's become mainstream. You know, now there's a yoga center, there's yoga in every health food, in, in every gym, and there's health food stores all over the place, and there's mega health food stores. But four decades ago, you know, it was maybe three people. I'm exaggerating, but so I've been doing this for four decades, meditation, yoga, natural health, and now also blending it with cutting edge brain science. Now that's the intellectual part of me. Okay, this is what I've studied, this is what I know. You still have the right to ask the question, well, what do you know about college stress? And I can tell you my personal stress story because the biggest stress in my life came to me when I was a freshman in college. After my first year, my first semester of college, my parents were in a car accident and they did not survive. They actually died in the car crash. And in between semesters, I had a lot of thinking to do with my family, my relatives, my friends. What am I going to do with my life? And I decided that for me, the best thing was to get back into college the next semester and just get on with the life as I school for radio, television, and film. And I loved it. I was. A And there's a picture of an Indian man, man from India. ESP and so all the ESP part sounded really cool it was kind of like wow this is like Star Trek you know so that kind of interested me everything he said sounded really it touched me it felt right and so I took a chance and I started to meditate and what I found was that it actually gave me some sort of inner peace not 
everything, but enough that I could actually, I could breathe again. And between the meditation and the yoga, it was so amazing that I decided when I graduated college that I wanted to spend my life doing this and teaching this with, to other people and helping other people get over their stresses. And that's what I did. I went on over those years from 74. In the 80s, I picked up a holistic wellness herbs and nutrition and things like that. And now, more recently, I've added the cutting edge EEG brain waves, how you just can improve your memory and calm your anxiety in minutes. And so what I'd like to say to all of you is that if I could get through that stress in college, which is admittedly a more severe stress than normal stresses, if I could get through that kind of a stress, then everybody can get through the stresses of college. And I'm here to help with these natural ways to get rid of stress. Using meditation, EEG brainwaves. A lot of people feel, oh, I can't meditate. That's where the EEG brainwaves come in. You just listen to them and it meditates you. So life's become quite easy for us these days. We're blending science and modern science and ancient technologies. So now I'd like to, now that you know a little bit about me, I'd like to share with you enough talk and time to share some de-stressing with you. Let me check and see if there are some questions here. And let's see if we're, okay. All right, so one is about social. And the other is just getting back into the swing of things. And that's sort of a, I have addressed that. One of the questions here is that they haven't taken a college class in over a year. And I've already just started to share that with you of me getting back into my college. I will address these later. Anybody else feel free to type in your questions, so I'll specifically do my best to answer them before the webinar is over. Okay, so it's time to get involved. Put down your papers and pens, sit up straight, relax. And what I'm going to do now is take you through an exercise. Very simple. Um, I'm sure most of you have heard about acupuncture. Acupuncture works. They put needles in certain, we're not going to put needles in the body, that's okay. There are certain points on the body where congestion, energy, locks up. And it's just like highways. If, if you're driving on the highway on the way to work or on the way home from work, it becomes bumper to bumper traffic. There's a, a congestion on the highway and the traffic stops flowing. We have the same kind of energy pathways in our body. We have these roads, just like circulation, but the energy flows through them. And for various reasons, they block up. And when they block up, if they block up in our head, we get headaches. If they block up in our neck, we get pain in our neck and shoulders. And then, of course, it can get more serious physically. And emotionally, there can be blocks in these same areas as well. So instead of putting needles into our body, we can just tap these areas and release them. And as we tap these areas, we're going to say certain words. And you'll repeat after me. So I will do a, a, something physical. I'll do this, and then I'll do this. And I'll say some words. And by you participating, you will experience what's going on. So the first thing to get ready for this is I'd like you to think about what is your biggest stress right now. I mean, feel it. If you're feeling a stress, a pain in the neck, feel that. If you're feeling anxious about getting going to college, feel that. And give it a number. So from 1 to 10, if 10 is, oh, this stress is unbearable. Oh, this headache is unbearable. 1 is, well, it's, it's mild, it's manageable. So if you like, just type in the chat. My stress is a number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Or write it on a piece of paper or remember it. 
Okay, and then we're going to measure before and after because I want to make sure you feel better at the end of this session. It's just going to take about a minute, so it's really quite simple. Okay, so the first thing is you're going to just very gently do a karate chop in your hand, in the palm of one of your hands. It doesn't matter. Either hand, you can do that. All right? And the first thing we're going to do is acknowledge the, the stress, the physical or emotional stress, and tell ourselves that we still love ourselves. So here we go. Even though, and you'll say, even though, I feel, and then you'll say, I feel whatever it is. So, for example, you might say, even though I feel stress in my neck, or even though I feel anxious in my stomach, even though I'm feeling a headache, whatever you're feeling, say, even though I'm feeling, fill in the blank, I fully love and accept myself. All right, so you say all of that. You would say, even though I feel, I fully love and accept myself. Okay? And we're going to do that three times total, so two more times. Even though I feel, fill in the blank, I fully love and accept myself. Great. One more time. Even though I feel, I fully love and accept myself. Excellent. Okay. Now we're going to tap the top of our head ten times, very lightly with our fingertips. Ten times and we'll say, I'm feeling much better now. Now we're going to tap at the beginning of our eyebrows close to the bridge of our nose with two fingers. You can use one hand or two hands. Say, I see life is getting better for me. Tap that ten times. Okay, now we're going to tap just on the bones on the sides of the eyes ten times. I'm feeling life is getting better. You tap ten times and repeat, I feel life is getting better. You just repeat that once and tap ten times. Okay, now we're going to tap under our eyes on the cheekbone. I sense a calm and a health coming into my life. So you tap ten times and say those words one time. I sense a calm and health coming into my life. And now we're going to tap under our nose and above our upper lip. We'll tap there ten times. And we'll say, I'm starting to feel I can manage college very well now. So you tap 10 times and say, I feel I can start to manage college stress, college life very well now. Okay. Now we go under the bottom lip and above the chin and tap in there 10 times. And we say, one time we say, my mind and thoughts are now focused on the positive. Okay, ten times we tap, one time we say, my mind, thoughts are focused on the positive. Okay, we're almost done now. Find your collarbone and tap under your collarbone, just under the collarbone, and say, my mind, my thoughts, my emotions, and my physical health, they're all integrated and in harmony and healthy and happy. Something close to that. Tapping ten times, saying one time, my mind, my emotions, my body, my heart, my health, my thoughts are all integrated in harmony and healthy and happy. Okay. And the last one is in between our ring and middle finger on the back of our hand, either hand, tap in there ten times and say, I've got a handle on this situation. I've got a handle on this situation. Okay, congratulations. That was all you had to do. Now think about your stress again that we were just talking about before. Try to bring it to as strong a level as it can be. So if it was a neck pain or anxiety in the pit of the stomach, try to feel it as much as you can and rate it. Has it dropped any? So if it, previously it was, say, an 8, did it drop to a 4 or a 3 or a 2 or a 1? 
And if you could, in the chat room, in, in the chat box, just tell me, did your stresses come down? You can just type Y for yes or N for no. Just so I have a sense, because I can't see you as getting feedback, I really would like to know how much of the stress has come down. And you can type yes from an 8 to a 3, yes from a 5 to a 2, yes from a 4 to a 3. And if you'd like to tap, type, type that in, not tap that in. This is the tapping, this is the typing. Okay. And so one person asked the question, does this work just when just thinking what you're saying? Does this work when just thinking what you're saying? Well, if I understand the, the question, I think there, there's two things. There is something called positive thinking. Every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better. And that, ha that certainly has some benefit. This, so there will be some benefit to that. Here we're, we're doing more than that. We're actually releasing stored up stresses. It's a trigger point. It's like if there's a traffic ro on, jam on the road, and the tow truck comes and tows the truck off of the highway, then the highway flows again. So in the same way, by tapping on this point, it releases the stress, the energy begins to flow again, and we can pick up our life. All right, so uh, nobody has talked about their stress levels one way or the other, uh, so I can't comment particularly on that. So I will assume because this is always works whenever I speak at a college, all the students and teachers feel the relief. So I'll just go on that assumption right now. I'll think positively. And we'll talk more about this. So the reason I was successful in taking my college stress and turning my life around into a life better than I ever could have imagined, quite frankly, is because I picked up some coaches, some mentors along the way. First, I took teachers how to meditate. And then I took on coaches and teachers on how to deal with uh, natural wellness, herbology, aromatherapy, yoga therapy, etc. Winners have coaches. Winners have mentors. And the more successful people we know, the more coaches and mentors they have. Look at, say, a baseball team. Every player on the team has a coach. The pitcher has a pitching coach. The batter has a batting coach. Singers, there's uh, the famous singer Celine Dion, one of the amazing, amazing singers that we know. She says she still has a coach to help her along. So anybody who wants to succeed in anything needs a coach, needs a mentor. And it's the same to succeed in college. If you want to succeed in college, you need coaches. And there's a coach for everything. I'm here to coach you on stress management. You have many other people following me. My colleague, Dr. Poor, is going to mentor you on how to prepare to succeed in your first career after college. So it's very smart if you want to succeed. Get people who have been there who can, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel, make it a lot easier on yourself than anybody else. Okay, so we do. Well, because we got. Two people said yes, their stresses went down during the tapping session. I call it tapping session. Another person said it went from an eight down to a three or a four. Another person said yes, it went down three points. Another person went from an eight to a four, eight to a five. And someone asks, how often shall we tap or any special times? I Really, the tapping is when you feel stressed. You know, it's like when you're hungry, you eat when you're feeling stressed. So for example, an easy time is if you're in your dorm room studying for an exam and suddenly you're getting a panic attack. Oh, good. I can tap this out. Even though I'm feeling a panic attack, 
I fully love and accept myself. And you do that three times. And then you tap through it. And you can you just make up positive statements. And I'm going to give you a link later. You can email me. And I'll give you a link to my website where I have a video of me doing the tapping session. So you can watch it. You could keep a bookmark to it. And anytime you're feeling stressed, the first few times until you remember these positions. And they don't have to be exactly these positions, but I'm making it very easy for you. I have a free little video, and you could watch that anytime. So anytime you feel stressed, if you're going on, uh, maybe your friend is setting you up on a blind date, and you're getting some social anxiety, you could tap that out. If you're getting ready for college, you're on your way to college the first day, your parents are driving you up there, and you're feeling nervous or somebody saying they haven't been to college in a while and going back they're getting anxious tap that out even though I'm anxious going back to college I fully love and accept myself so we accept ourselves for who we are and then we move on from there let's take a look here so anytime you feel the stress as often as you like now let's say you tap Everybody here has really done well, 80 from an 8 to a 3, 8 to a 4, 8 to a 5. Let's say 5, for the person who said I went from an 8 to a 5, let's say you say, well, that feels good, but I, this 5 is still pretty stressful. Do it again. Tap it a second time. It, once it gets down to a 3 or a 2 or a 1, then it's manageable. To some people, it actually goes down to zero, and that's fine, too. So if it goes from down, you know, anywhere from, say, four or five up, and you want to get rid of more of it, tap it a second time. Okay, good. So you guys are all doing great with your tapping. By the way, the tapping was invented by a, a medical doctor who studied ancient Chinese acupuncture. And he called it the emotional freedom technique. It helps with your emotions. I also find it helps with physical conditions too, physical pains. And if you, once you catch on, if you say, well, I've got a whole bunch of stresses, a whole bunch of anxieties, as most of us do at some point in our lives, take some time and tap them all out one by one, even though I'm concerned about finances. I fully love and accept myself. Even though there's so much work that I feel anxious, I fully love and accept myself. Spend five, ten minutes, twenty minutes, a half hour, as long as you like. Tap them all out. The more you tap, the first few weeks, a lot of my clients, a lot of uh, students who've worked with me, they'll almost like they'll create their own weekend resort, weekend spa, and just really clear themselves out. It's kind of like, you know, you have a car and once a year when you get it inspected, you change the oil, you grease and lube it. Every so often, we can just clear out all the accumulated stresses. And a lot of these stresses, when you tap them out, they don't come back. And it's good to know that the situations in the world are going to be the same, but how you respond to them is going to be different. So, for example... If you're standing out in the rain and you're getting wet and you say, I don't want to get wet, you come in the house or you stand on the porch. Now, it's still raining out, but the rain is not affecting you. You've just shifted your position. And that's what this is. The, the, this, the college demands are going to still be there, but you've shifted yourself into a position of success, a position of protection. And you'll be able to deal with these situations better. Good. And somebody else just said they went from a 5 down to a 1. So that's brilliant. That's really great. Isn't it great that you know that you have control over the stresses in your life? And so one question is, should the pain lessen and eventually go away if you do this regularly? If, it's, if we're talking about a physical pain, let, let's just be clear on a few things. If there's something that's related to a medical issue, you obviously want to see your doctor. You know, if, if your kidney or spleen is bothering you, you, you definitely want to make sure that 
you're, you're, you, you get a physical clean bill of health, okay? But if, let's say, you've, um, you have a pain in the neck, okay, which is not per se a medical issue, yes, as you tap it out, it will go away. There are different reasons um, we get, we put our stresses, we store stresses that we don't want to deal with or can't deal with. We store them. Some people, a lot of people do it in the neck or the lower back. So you may say, well, I'm really, I'm getting a pain in the neck because I'm stressed about my exam and I fully love and accept myself. And the pain lessens and it goes either to manageable or it goes away. Then in a few days, you have, uh, you have to pay a bill, a phone bill, a utility bill, and suddenly you're, you're reminded of the financial stresses and the pain in the neck comes back for a different reason. So you tap out for that second reason, and that takes away that pain. And when you get to the root of all any reason that you're putting pain into your neck, then the neck pains usually go away for a longer period of time until you take on new challenges and then but you know what to do by then you say oh okay it's a new set of challenges I'm handling them a lot better but every once in a while the pain may come back you know, it's a part of life the big thing is you now have one tool one of many tools that I teach at college and in my book and in my webinars you'll have you have one tool that you can now take control of your life better and doesn't that make you feel better this world isn't as crazy as it was just half an hour ago. It's about my exam tomorrow. I offer a three-step college success program that takes it and click on the college link. And then even you'll hear, you'll see another video of the students giving you the feedback of what they've gotten from the sessions as well. So and when you look for mentors, I am available as a mentor on webinars and for your colleges. year and I'm about to restart classes so I'm anxious about how well I will do since it has been so long okay so this is uh, 
common for a lot of people. People who, have, if you're coming to college as a freshman, this question itself, it's your first time going, so it's a whole new environment. If you've been out of college for a while. So the first thing is you, you can tap this out. Even though I'm anxious about how well I'll do coming to college, I fully love and accept myself. And say that three times and tap it out. And move forward. Move forward. As you move forward and take a step, you'll see, oh, I'm not as anxious. Something else may come up. Oh, now I'm I have never met before. Are there any let's see any method I know college students, high school students read ebooks now, as, as I do. It's much easier than carrying lots of books around. What I found in my research for that book was that there are six main reasons college students get stressed out. One of them is social. Another is stress of, of overwork, too much work. Another is finances. So when we're talking about the social, the social end of it, again, you can just tap that out, Emmanuel. You could say, even though I'm concerned about making new friends, I mean, let's, I mean, let, let, let's really, because this is a key a core issue. When you're in high school, you've got, you, you've got your buddies, you've got your friends, you've got your parents, you've got a social net. You've got, you've got people maybe we don't even, you know, they say we don't know what we've got till it's gone. Until we go to college, that's the first time we go, oh my goodness, I had such emotional support at home, I didn't even realize it. I feel so alone here at school, there are who I have to make new friends. So this is a great thing to tap out because it's common for everybody, even for Amanda who's going back to college or Emmanuel who's um, headed off to college. This is a core, this is, the top, this is one of the top three stressors in college, making new friends, socializing. Now, just on the flip side of this, this is another tool, and I'll just share with you. When you go to college, you have a chance to reinvent yourself. Nobody knows who you are, so you can show them the best parts of you that other people know you may not give you the chance or opportunity to be to show. So you can really be more, bring out the best of you. Here, here's something I believe very strongly. Each of us has our own genius. The more we are, the more we accept ourselves, which the tapping helps us do, in our being unique, instead of saying, oh, how come I'm this way? Nobody else is like that. We say, I'm the only person who is like this. How can I use that in the world and, and make my life interesting and help other people with my unique talents. The more you share your unique talents and, and honor your unique gifts, the more you're going to go, wow, this is who I am. And more people are going to like you because they never met anybody like you. You're very interesting. And college is a great time to reinvent yourself in the sense of bringing out the better qualities of yourself that you may not have been able to share prior to that. So that's a great question, Emmanuel. Okay. How to cope with mental and emotional stress. Okay. So that's really what we're talking about all, all this, this hour, Tori. We have, as I said, you're far from alone. Your 80% of the population is of college is dealing with mental and emotional stresses. So just knowing you're not alone, that's a huge relief right there, isn't it?
And now with this tapping technique I showed you, this is the best, This is, because you, you get rid of your stresses in 60 seconds or less. And I have a number of tools and I'm going to share with you some other free freebies that you can download from my website, other tools that will help you out. Okay. Here's a question. If I tap before I eat, will it help my digestion? Newman, this is a great, great question. Because one of the core reasons for stress, or the, one of the core reasons to reduce and prevent stress, is eating healthier. All right, I hope I didn't lose half the teams here. Uh, broccoli, for some people, is really good. But anyway, I'm, I'm teasing a little bit. Healthy foods are going to give you nutrition. Nutrition is going to give you energy, and energy is going to give you strength and mental clarity and memory. And in my book, I share tips on which foods build brain, which, which I have a section called foods that boost your GPA. So in, in the stress-free college student. So foods are very important, healthy foods. To get back to this question, you can say, so for example, digestion, the core for most health conditions, emotional and physical, they're due to poor digestion. And poor digestion, we have a nerve from our brain called the vagus nerve that goes down to our stomach. And when we're tense, when we're stressed, that vagus nerve messes up our digestion. It blocks the, the communications that tells the digestive acids to break down the food. And when you break down the food, that's where the nutrition is. So you can say, even though I have nervous indigestion, or even though I'm nervous and I'm not digesting my food, I fully love and accept myself. Even though I'm so worried about my, my math exam that I can't eat in peace, I fully love and accept myself. So Newman, this is a really brilliant question. It, it's, an, it's a really uh, key time to, to tap, your, to do the emotional freedom technique just before you eat. Science tells us what we think about, we become. If we worry, we become worried. And if we are worried when we eat, we turn the food energy into worry. That becomes a vicious cycle. But if you say, I'm so grateful for this food, uh, it's whole fresh foods, it's organic foods, it's I cooked it myself, let me get healthy from this food, let me, maybe you could put on some nice music, relaxing music, then that food boost your energy so it becomes a positive cycle instead of a vicious cycle? Great question. Okay. Next question. Do you enjoy helping students have an easier college life and why did you start? Okay. So why I started, I mentioned earlier because I lost my parents in a car accident when I was in college. And the only thing that brought me to some degree of normalcy was the meditation and the yoga. And you know, when you when you find something that really helps you, you ju we, people just want to share that. And so I couldn't think of doing anything else in life after that. That was just the greatest thing. And to see people, to get to have people say, you know, I've had this issue for ten years and nobody could help me and in fifteen minutes it's gone because of seeing you. Well, that's really, really a nice, uh, it makes you feel worthwhile. You know, it makes me feel like I have a purpose on this planet. And having a purpose on this planet is another tool for reducing stress. There, there's a of love. It just very, it's a key, it's another secret. I'm telling you all the secrets more than I had even known I had time for because you're asking such great questions. So Carl, yes, I, I, I really enjoy helping students have an easier college life. I enjoy helping people find their life purpose, find their meaning, release their stresses, and achieve the visions and help them dream bigger dreams. Once the blocks are gone and you go, well, since if these blocks are gone, 
then maybe I could dream bigger because I didn't think I could dream that big because I was limited in my health and my emotions, etc. Okay, Emmanuel says, thank you for answering my question. The notion of reinventing myself with people who will give me a chance as opposed to those who won't back at home truly help me out with my perspective of things. Great, Emmanuel. Uh, thanks for that feedback. You know, there's so many simple ways. Genius, they say, really, the most genius ideas are simplicity, are simple ideas. And there's an expression, take if, you, if life make, gives you lemons, make lemonade. So if something's not working, if you're unhappy with something, the reason we, we get stressed is because we think what's happening to us isn't supposed to happen, and then we get upset, we judge ourselves. So, oh my goodness, if I go to college, how will people think about me? Well, how do you want them to think about you? You're in control of your life. Flip, flip, flip the situations around. Okay, Newman, he says, speaking of sharing, if a group of friends get together, how can we develop a tapping team? Will that work? Well, that's brilliant, you know, because if you're walking around, if you're going to class and you get a panic attack and you start going like this in the middle of, of the quad, you know, people are going to go, what is that crazy person? Not that you should stop. You definitely want to go to class. I mean, when I was in grad school, I was sitting in, an exa in a final exam. And I had such a panic attack, I got up and walked outside. And I didn't have the tapping tool at the time, but I did have the yoga and the meditation. And I just I did some breathing. I told myself everything's going to be all right. And I just brought myself back to a level of um, operation. I could function again. And then I went back in the exam. So if you're in your dorm room, you know, you're in your dorm buddies, you can, you can do this. And what, one thing I recommend, and I recommend at the colleges, is create a stress, bu stress busters club. And in colleges that invite me, I, I encourage them to set up a stress busters club, and I will help you all with that. So I think it's really great. The more people you get involved in stress management, the better it is for everybody. You know, there's strength. a big mud hole and everybody just jumps in like pigs I think they call it a pig jump or something like that um, and then they have these inflatable obstacle courses so the, the colleges are recognizing that stress management needs to be there and um, the more people you can get involved the more fun it becomes and you know, there's strength in numbers it doesn't seem as daunting all right so we are running out of time, and if there's any more questions, you can type them in. I'll try to get to them. In summary, today I've talked to you about why we need healthier organic foods, EEG brain waves. And what I'm here to tell you is that what I've discovered is I've been able to help people, as you've experienced today, relieve your stress in less than 60 seconds. So, I mean, that's a miracle, right? I think so. Okay, here are some of the freebies that I shared that I briefly mentioned to you. The easiest thing probably is for you to just go to the website, thehipguru.com, and go to the contact us page and email me and say, can you send me the special report, how to melt stress in 60 seconds or less? That's another method. I have a number of methods. Can you give me the link to the video to tap how to, so I can remember how to do this tapping video? Okay, so right here at the bottom, 
Let's see, I can get my little notes up here. Yes, no, whiteboard. There we go. Okay. So right here, thehipguru.com. You can go right to that page. And up at the top here will be a little contact us. And this link here, it says college students You can or college. You can click there. That will take you around. But the easiest way, just... Uh, just email me and I will send you the links to the video and the download page. For more learning, if you want to study more about this, my book, The Stress-Free College Student. Now, I call it a book, but quite frankly, because college students, high school students, spend more time on Pinterest and Instagram than reading books and other things. I made this book like a Pinterest page. So each chapter, there's only six chapters, but I don't call them chapters, I call them boards. So there are six boards and there are pins on each board. The first board pin is a cartoon related to the topic. So the first topic is financial stress. So I have a cartoon about financial stress and if you see that you laugh you go I get it you know it just eases your stress then I have a photo a beautiful inspiring photo and a quote like the Confucius quote that I shared with you little things that you could just look at and keep on going because the last thing you need in college is another book to read right then I have some tips some stress-free tips like I shared with you tips which foods increase your GPA and then I have a story in each of the boards. I have a pin story uh, on each topic. Of Usually it's a college student that I've interviewed that's told me a story of the stresses they've had in college and how they've overcome them naturally. I've told my story in there. I've told sto a story of another client. I have a story of a college professor who used uh, what's called Reiki energy healing. So very quick and the stories are very personal they're, they're, they're meaningful they're engaging it's a very thin book and it's a it's an ebook too the ebook is better because it's easier to carry around it's in your iPad or whatever iPhone and the pictures are all in color but then there's something to be said for having a book right on your desk you could just flip it open and look at a uh, at the page you want and I think I think I offer on Amazon if you buy one you get the other free I think so it should be like that uh, that was my intention so and again for training and mentoring I do have a webinar that goes into details three easy steps three sessions how to deal with your stresses and work with them and as you've seen my approach today it's experiential it's just talking doesn't help that much. Benjamin Franklin quote here, tell me and I forget, to teach me and I may remember, involve me and I learn. Okay, and we're running out of stuff.